Right, we are now standing at the very home ground of the Rose University first team rugby side. And I'm not alone, as you can see, I'm with the coach of the team, Kondekele Sompondo. And I'll also be talking later to the captain of the side, Marcus Nell. Now, coach, first and foremost, I would like to congratulate you on, on qualifying for the Varsity Shield. And I think I speak for the whole school or the university when I say we are all very proud of that feat. And uh, how do you feel about that, being the first coach to lead the side into a Varsity Shield tournament? Thank you so much, um, Yosa. Um, we we're quite happy as a as a team to have achieved this. But I I think credit should go to the players and um, the support staff that have assisted us and ensure that we achieve this goal. I mean, it's been a five-year uh, dream of ours, and 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 we we're quite happy to have achieved it now. All right, coach. Uh, just touching on that since. The qualification was close to now. What have the what has the activity been like? Has there been training? Have you been playing games? Look, it's been um, quiet. Remember, we we from from USA, we went straight back into our internal league, and um, the guys have kept fit and 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 ready for um, intervarsity, um, which we use as a as a platform um, to prepare for 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 varsity shield next year. And the beauty about it this year, we'll be playing against NNMU, which is a a, a, a decent opposition and, and someone, a team that we hope to measure against. And so we're quite happy with our preparations leading up. And the next thing that we would um, use to prepare for USA next year, for, for SHIELD next year, will be the USA 7s in December. All right, coach. And um, in terms of the team news, injury-wise, do you have any players who are injured, fitness concerns, anyone coming back that wasn't available at, when it came to USA time? Oh, yeah. USA was tough. Um, in fact, it was brutal. Um, the final against Wusu was really tough on us because it taxed us. In a way, um, we've lost our vice captain, John O'Brien's. And, and, and in fact, even the internal league, we lost one of our key members of the side, um, uh, Dev Barnard, um, and a couple of minor bruises. I mean, a couple of the first team, regular first team players are not going to be playing this Saturday and will give a chance to you know, the upcoming um, uh, you know, players that would try to fight for a place in the team in the Shield next year. But in terms of um, the, the upcoming game, I'm, I'm quite positive that we'll feel the side um, decent enough to uh, make Rhodes proud. Your coach mentioned that there will be a few players missing because of injuries. How do you think the team will be able to cope against what many presu presume to be a very strong NMU side this weekend? Um, I think it's it's pretty clear-cut changes. Um, I, I feel that we've, we've had quite an extended first-team squad this year because we've had um, the HPL League, which we played about five or six games, um, which coach used to rotate players, get different players in different positions. So everybody's had exposure with the team and I, f I, f I think that it's going to be seamless this weekend. Guys are going to slip in and it's going to be business as usual. You told me that should you come up against the NMU side at the InterVarsity, you, you try to use mainly under-19 players. Is that still uh, part of the mandate? Absolutely. As I've said, um, the younger guys have to be tested against the best. And, and we're hoping that this um, upcoming match against NNMU is going to be that test. And, and hopefully most of them would form part of my um, uh, seven squad in, in December in George. And, and hopefully they will be ready. In fact, there will be enough preparation for them to step up into the Shield um, competition next year. Right, Coach. And then also with the game against NNMU, we know NNMU are a very, very strong rugby side. They are part of the, the premier rugby competition when you're talking about Varsity, which is the Varsity Cup. Mm. What type of challenge are you expecting from them? What type of game do you think they'll bring to the fore? And what have you planned to utilize in your favor against them? Look, in the, in the five years um, I've been at Rhodes, I've played NNMU twice. Uh, we've played them at NNMU and, uh, you know, the score was tight and uh, it was close. And they beat us 19-6, um, I think. 
Um, then last year at USA, uh, of which I think they brought their big boys, they you know they gave us a drubbing. Um, so this year I'm not really worried because I I think I think we've we've got a solid enough group that would make Rhodes proud, um, but also they're not going to embarrass themselves as a as a group because they are decent enough. So I. I'm positive that we would compete and we might, you know, uh, be victorious in the end. Right, and what's your message, finally, what's the message to the school, to the student body who will be supporting you physically there and those who will be looking for updates on Grocast Mill Sport for the rugby game? What is your message of encouragement to them um, in terms of what the team will bring to the, to the field against NMU? Um, well, obviously this weekend is going to be a tough one. But as coach mentioned, we're not going to go out and embarrass ourselves. We're going to give everything. It's the guys we've, we've played week in, week out, that the supporters have seen week in, week out. And ultimately, you know what we're capable of, and we'll see you on Saturday. Right, Marcus. Here at Grokos Mill Sport, we'd like to thank you for all your contribution to Rose Rugby and your five-year service. And um, we're hoping that you can finish strong. Yeah. And uh, we'll be supporting you guys, backing you all the way. All right. Cheers. Thanks, Yosa. Thank you for your time. All right, guys. That was the captain of the side, Marcus Nell, joining me, telling me about um, how he will be planning to attack the game um, on Saturday and just talking generally about Rose Rugby. So, yeah, that's how we ended here at Grow Cost Mill Sports, our coverage of the Rose Rugby first team. Hopefully, you guys will be able to make your way to PE or if you can't support them physically, you can like our page on Facebook and then we'll keep you updated on how they are doing out in PE. But yeah, that's how we wrap it up here. My name is Yolulu Koshe here at Greatfield for Grocos Mill Sport.